crafty creations i'm going to be doing um a tutorial on how to apply vinyl to a tumbler or a water bottle i have a water bottle here that i'm going to make for my daughter she plays soccer for her elementary school so let's get started what you're going to need is of course vinyl i cut this out with my cutting machine which is a silhouette and i will do a video on how i cut it you're going to need contact paper I use contact, pa contact paper that I found at um, Walmart for $5. I think you can also get it at the dollar store for like a dollar or Dollar Tree for a dollar. You're also going to need some scissors to cut out your vinyl. A pick if you have one. And I'm going to show you how I weed out um, the vinyl. Okay, so here I have the little soccer ball and this is the white vinyl soccer. I'm going to apply the vinyl to the white soccer ball. So you're also going to need a squeegee. I seem to have lost my squeegee so I've got to use my finger or whatever I can use. So I rub it in as good as I can and then you just peel back the contact paper and for this I like to use the same contact paper to apply it and then to apply it to the ball I mean I'm sorry to the bottle okay so you're gonna line it up to where you want it I think you can want it like that and so you are gonna make mistakes but I think my ball looks okay with how it is. And if you do make a mistake, you just go ahead and re-put it back on. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this on here. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how I weed um, the vinyl. And I do put washi tape because my... What do you call it? <laughs> my mat does not stick very well. It's old and just not working so I'm gonna cut it to size and it's hard to see but with the light it kind of helps where I'm going so now I'm gonna start pulling it apart I'm gonna grab the corner I'm sorry if I'm going off camera and sometimes they're hard I do get I uh, can't remember where I got this vinyl from but I know I bought it off of Amazon and it is really good vinyl. I really love it. I've done a couple of projects with it and you know I've had people who ordered some things from me and they just love how the vinyl sticks to their to their um, to their cups. Okay. Um we do when you apply do not put these in the dishwasher because it'll just ruin it you want to lightly wash over your cup with it so now I'm gonna weed out the little um, if you can't see let me see if I can show you in here is a little line where the D the O the P have little marks that don't belong there so we're just gonna weed it out And sometimes it's hard to read it you just gotta kind of pick it up and if you have small little pieces like a project I did this morning um, you would want to use some tweezers and I have no idea where my tweezers are at right now um, I just had them but my desk is a mess <laughs> so I just want to read this out And of course you put your you could throw your vinyl away. You're not gonna need these pieces anymore. Okay. And just like that, you just have weeded out all of your vinyl. I will be back. I'm going to go and put contact paper on all of these vinyls. And yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, and I'm going to go ahead and apply the vinyl to the water bottle. 
Um, what you want to do first is wash it with uh, some soap and water and then go ahead and dry it off with a towel. I'm going to place this towel here so that it doesn't roll, you know, when I'm putting applying the vinyl it keeps it sturdy because if I put it on my desk it's just going to slip and slide everywhere. So first I'm going to put the PHS on her bottle. First, actually no, I'm going to put the soccer ball on her bottle. I think it would be better to do it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and peel it off. And we're going to do it this way. I'm going to center it right here because that PHS is going to... And once you have it centered, you're going to want to, you know, make a little crease in the middle. And then just flatten it out. And you want to give it a good rub. Good little rub. Okay, and then you're just going to go ahead and peel off the vinyl. Okay, I'm sorry about that. My video cut off. I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of the vinyl. And of course, this didn't come off. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of the vinyl. And when I'm done, I'll come back and show you the, f the rest of the... Um, the final product okay so I'm not fully done with this um, but I did want to show you guys how it looks so far and I kind of messed it up because I didn't center this right the P should be more over here but it's okay it's my daughter's and she loves her soccer thing so she is number 12 and I wanted to show you this part because a lot of people will ask, how did you get that on there? I could have put this on top of the black, but I just didn't know how it was going to center out or what it was going to look like. So I just waited toward the end to put the number on there. So again, I'm going to make sure that it is adhesively stuck to the contact paper because without that squeegee, it kind of doesn't like to stick. And I just moved, so it, I still am unpacking and trying to find all my good stuff. So sometimes I'll use the back of this um, tool to help, you know, get the get it stuck to the to the vinyl. As you can see. It works. So this is going to go straight in the middle of the ball. Just like that. And you want to make sure how I messed this up was that um, the contact paper was not straight. So it kind of went right here on the E. It kind of lifted up. But I just went back and fixed it. But like I said, without that squeegee, it's kind of hard. So now you're going to rub in the number 12 in there. And just gently pull off the vinyl. She did want me to put girl here, but I forgot to cut it. <laughs> so I will put it um, for her when I get the chance to cut it. Okay. So now for the dolphins one, how we're going to do this is we're going to align it this way, but I think I'm going to go this way, just like this, oh. and there's a little bit of sticky stuff back here, but I got that off, but I guess I didn't, so you're just going to, and that's just from the sticker that this vinyl came from. And you always want to make sure that the bottle is clean. And I guess I didn't clean it right. So I'm going to use this towel just to wipe off the residue. And as you can see, it's still there. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some residue on there. And that's because I washed it and I scraped. But it happens. But... I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And 
again. Not that I don't like to adhere to anything. And again, you peel it off gently because you want to make sure it all comes off. And if it doesn't, you can just go back and, you know, scrub, uh, scrape it some more so it can stick to the vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and put it here. Just like that. And now we're just going to push it down one way and push it down the other way. And I hope I'm in the frame. So again, you just give it a good little rub, make sure the vinyl adheres to the bottle. Okay. And go ahead and pull it off again gently. Just like that. And when you're done, you can either reuse this or you can just throw it away. I have plenty of contact paper, so I'm just going to throw them away. Okay, so this is my bottle. Oh, well, I'm sorry, my daughter's bottle, water bottle. It says dolphins in the front, I mean in the back. And then in the front it says P-H-E-S, her number, and the soccer ball. And of course I'm going to put a girl around here, so yeah. And if you see, sometimes I get some air bubbles like that. You just want to go back and, you know, rub it out with your finger if you can because these air bubbles is what causes really uh it, it will cause the vinyl to come up and when you wash it it'll come off okay thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed my my video if you have any questions feel free to message me or check out my facebook page and message me there i hope you enjoyed my video and i hope to see you again please subscribe bye bye Thank you.